Alright, we are back with a bit more of the Volpes League's Adventures in the Stars. So, flagship is being constructed. It's going to take a couple of years to get out. So, <laughs> let me see. Alright, so I want to know exactly... All right, I am at plus 22 if my fleet is not at home. Oh, uh, that's a thing of beauty. 65 destroyers. Yeah, go back and upgrade, though. If only a few hundred, you'll be fine. It'll happen quickly enough. Meanwhile, I'm going to build some more destroyers. Over at Pitch and Secundus. Because that's my destroyer world. So, when my fleet is out of dock, it is going to be taking one hell of a large amount of energy. The flagship alone is going to cost 80. Unemployment on hold upon a prime. Put you there for now. Sidor Prime, not currently building anything. Um, power plant. And more and more. Construction complete. So, I really wish Grand Fleet cut your upkeep for the fleet, but it doesn't. So what I'm considering doing is actually potentially changing my government from subconscious consensus to a military junta, or rather an ordered stratocracy. Yeah, let's go for that. And to get the bonuses, we'll have an election immediately. All right. Oh, shoot. I don't have the influence. Okay, I have one more month. I'll have just enough time to get the influence to affect the election. So who do I want? I'm thinking we will want... Complete. Galdrig to stay in charge. Oh, he's really old, though. Nah. Well, we'll see what we can do. Oops. Alright, so... That's okay. Yeah, see that's a huge change in how much energy credits I still have. Alright, I want the fleet to head to Fission Prime to upgrade. System and then, once it does upgrade, I'm going to smack down the assembly of them a little bit. Oh, wow. I'm not going to have to. They are already losing a war against the Themlar. Uh, 
Uh, how about these guys? Also pathetic. Where are the Themlar? Oh, the assembly of Themel. <laughs> Them. <laughs> complete so population here is growing crazy fast perfect uh well since it's already growing that fast let's go mining network mining network and mining network. Upgrade. Upgrade. Construction complete. Definitely going to need a power hub here long term, so may as well just build it now. Yeah, they're doing what they can. It's good enough. Construction complete. So they're not the smartest guys around, that's okay. They're trying, man, they're trying. Construction complete. Place it with a power plant. There's not much in the way of actual power resources here. Lithium Prime. Power plant. Power plant. Science lab. All right. Oh yes, I was going to start modifying some of the species within my empire. Yeah, we should remove that from them. That'll be done quickly enough. Conformists and natural physicists. Uh, in that case, let's make communal and charismatic. Situation log updated. All right, that'll take some time. <clears throat> ah, science cruiser, you're not doing anything. Not bad science cruiser. Yeah, you get a battle cruiser out. You get more destroyers. Lithier Prime, Unemployment. Combat Arena. Yeah, that makes sense. Clear that. Alright. Cotnab. You're about as good as I think I want to bother getting you. System survey complete. 
Grab bricks. Planet's just growing too quickly. <laughs> and people are moving here too, it looks like. Well, power hub. Power plant. Power plant. Science. Power plant. Clear. Clear. System <laughs> survey complete. Special project complete. Ah, uh, yeah, that was just the uh, the first one. This will take a little while, but that's fine. Construction complete. I am genetically modifying essentially billions of people right now. So, <laughs> why are you just? Oh, did these guys close their borders to me? Yes, they did. Ah. Nobody likes me anymore. <laughs> no, that's fine by me. Get some more wormhole stations up for reaching to the north. There we go. Alright, they're upgraded. Get up here. Another year for the flagship. Let's go take a look at the battle cruiser. It just got automatically added to the fleet. Oh no, there it is. Pretty mean looking. And it has complete. long sensor range, which I love. Another eight destroyers joining the fleet. Ninety days. You build one yourself. System survey complete. <coughs> All right. Well, there. All right. Yep, science lab, mining network. <laughs> Even these guys move. I like it. Ah, uh, physics labs. Let's go close. System survey complete. Yeah, I don't think that bothers anyone who's militarist. Oh, uh, tiny bit. Oh no! The brain implants are malfunctioning. Alright. 
Construction complete. Everyone here is so unhappy. Get ready to rumble here. Flagship's done very soon. 150 days. Well, let's do a cruiser then and two destroyers. Special project complete. Excellent. Six months for modifying the species, and then we can continue modifying more species. Construction complete. Cause of crime. Removing. Construction complete. Need to make this place a happier place to live. I say no for now. System survey complete. Almost done. Five more months. Oh, jeez. <laughs> In just a few months, I'm gonna feel like I feel the need to upgrade my ships all over again. Ah, we are making them xenophobic. That's okay. Construction complete. Construction complete. Alright, and you're almost done as well. One more month. System survey complete. Incoming transmission. Nope. How many worlds do you have? Complete. Six or seven. We finish construction of the flagship, the pride of my fleet. Yep, can only have one of them. Conditional effect gained, flagship inspired fleet. Oh, nice. That's fantastic. And the flagship itself is 21,000k. That thing's a beast. Oh yeah. And its sensor range is huge. Huh. 
love it. Alright guys, join together. Alright, Neutronium Armor. And next month we get the Sension Combat AI. Do a quick round of upgrades and then we will try and go to war quickly. Special project complete. Research complete. More unemployment. Not really anything I can do anything about right now. Alright. Planetary capital. Planetary capital. Complete. Research. Um, hmm. <laughs> Gamma laser. Why would I bother? Uh, da, 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 da. Hyperlane mapping. That actually might be useful. Man, look at the size difference between that and anything else in my fleet. Construction complete. 139k. Alright, ship designer. One more run through you now. Yay. Got to upgrade the cruiser's armor. We'll go with that. A little extra power doesn't hurt. Feels about right. And the dampener. Alright. A reactor. More armor, 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 armor. Armor. I'm not really following any specific rule of thumb here, I'm just kind of putting stuff where it feels right in the moment. So, I think that's all the battleships. Escorts. Damn. Simply don't have the power. Well. Now we do. Battle cruisers. X 
extra armor. Carriers. Full power, full scale carriers. And dreadnoughts. And of course the flagship. And it just starts at seventy one percent. Each of these is plus. 1% health. And each of these is essentially plus 1% damage reduction. Until that point. Alright, I think we leave it like that. Alright, another round of upgrades. See how long this is gonna take. Oh, 44 days, not a problem. All right, then we'll do a quick war, and then I'll probably have to call it a day. Real life issues, that kind of thing. Annoying to deal with, but such is it's how it is. I do really like the Governor's Mansion as a building type. It's very expensive in all three of the resources, but it's one of the only ways you can get influence, and that's really nice that there's now an option for that. Gauzor Prime. Yep, it's just that's just gonna have to wait. Same with this place, I think. Alright. My fleet has been upgraded. Pop over here. Oh, I'm still at plus ninety. Even with the fleet in motion. Now that's fantastic. Destroyers, 22 cruisers, 17 battleships, 8 escorts, 1 battle cruiser, 2 light carriers, a carrier, and a flagship. Ah, administrative efficiency. Hmm. Army health. Strike cruiser. So having something fast to build a fast attack fleet around is a, is a good idea too. Speaking of which, let's build a uh, destroyer force quickly. That uh, I can use to quickly react to the enemy movements and hurt them when needed. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm not seeing their fleet anywhere here. 
not a combat fleet anyways. Oh, there we go. Assembly of Themel. First Navy Cluster. That may be all they have, too. Let's, uh, we'll move over here, double check. Construction complete. All right. So I do have Aurelium one. <clears throat> huh. That's very nice. Be better on a planet like this one, though. In fact, I'm going to just put it on that one. <laughs> you, on the other hand, give me power. Yeah, tiny force, but not much of one. First Navy cluster, what do we got here? Some torpedoes, lasers, shields. Minimal armor. Alright. Oh, and what was their movement type? Hyperdrives. I'm going to let the wormhole charge up a bit before I declare war and see if I can use that as a way to kind of jump start things. If I jump into their territory and then declare war. My fleet will be kicked out and return to my territory before I can actually attack them. And I don't want that. Get these science ships going on their missions again. Aha. Uh -huh. Construction complete. Seven seventy five. Ah, hold the bana. All right. 94%. Let's do this. Can't vassalize them or make them a tributary. But. Instead, I'm going to liberate a number of their worlds. Huh. Not Inagor, though. Don't care about that. Alright, I'm thinking we do Themel, Atmir, Rootlord. Yerba. Yopinir. And then Humiliate. Haha, <laughs> cause we're mean. We're just so mean. Hmm. Actually, let's take out a couple of these. And go with oh, 
I mean, they simply don't know me. Okay. Well, back to Ruklar, Yokanir, and here about then. Hmm. Yeah, that looks about right. Excellent. We're already there. Hi, guys. How do you like seeing a fleet with ten times your power coming down on you? 150k. Oh, they ran. Where did they go? The open air. Why am I not surprised? Alright, let's see if I can get a construction ship up here. Nope, can't build there. Never mind. Boat right in the edge here. See how long it takes them to come and knock me out of it. Stop. Split the fleet. Oh, that was actually a better split than it usually does. Kudos. Hmm. Situation log updated. That was naturally very quick. Uh <laughs> Looks like you guys are jumping. You head to Ruklar. You head to Thamel. Construction complete. Okay. Research complete. I really am mapping. Now I know where they can and can't go. Oh. I don't feel like I'm quite ready for this yet. Uh, da -da. Shield hit points. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Ah, we caught at least a chunk of them. Situation log updated. Jeez. Updated. They just got evaporated. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. So they did manage to do some damage to my hull throughout my fleet. 1.9% of it took damage. A few destroyers. One actually was almost killed. <laughs> Let's bring you up here as well. Uh, embark all. Complete. We need a general. And let's get you up here. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. No. 
Science Lab. And Science Lab. And, uh, Science Lab. I should cancel. Construction complete. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log yeah. updated. Yeah, no, your job is bounce around and do damage, not just sit Hostile here. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. <laughs> Situation log updated. System survey complete. Construction complete. Okay. Let's do one more destroyer from each of these worlds. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Alright. System survey complete. Situation log updated. So So yeah, the reason I didn't go for the jump drives is because they open up one of the end game crises. Honestly, if I see it again, I probably will take it next time. Holy crap, are my vassals doing something? Good job, guys. But, uh, so yeah, the, the point I was aiming at is that I want to secure a little bit more of the galaxy before I let that happen. I want to at least grab one of the Fallen Empire's uh, territory before I let endgame events start firing. So we'll see how that goes. Enemy planet secured. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. There we go. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. I like the torpedo shots.
Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. System survey complete. Construction complete. Unemployment. Nothing I can do about that unemployment right now, though, so. Oh well. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Embark. Five hundred naval capacity currently. That's awesome. Hostile fleet Bound engaged. Up. Hostile fleet engaged. There you go. Blow them out of the sky! Situation log updated. Hostile like fleet that. engaged. Situation log updated. go and how are we here construction complete research complete Army health. Do, do, do. Army damage. Enemy planet secured. Construction complete. All right. Look like there are any other enemies there. I've already get taken there. Floored is hostile fleet engaged. Construction complete. Spaceport. My guys just blasted. Oh, that does seem to be what they're doing. Okay, good. Situation log updated. Construction complete. Hostile. All 
All right, come on, guys. You got this. Situation log updated. The hell? I had combat ships there. Hostile fleet engaged. Yay, we got them. Construction complete. Hostile fleet engaged. Alright. Planet lost to invasion. Situation log updated. Blah, blah. Hostile fleet engaged. Just go attack, please. Construction complete. Well, crap. I was hoping to get this done a little more quickly, but I have unfortunately run out of time and need to call it. I will be continuing this game tomorrow morning and if the entire adventures of the Volpace League will be put up on my YouTube channel of Pally 1D as time permits so if you want to watch them they will be there else thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the show <laughs>